Today, I'm going to install an overhead clothes area up in this bit here. I've drawn a diagram just to work out what parts I need and how the pulleys are going to work. I need a double swivel pulley at one end where the cord doubles up and goes back through to attach to the clothes area. And then I need a single swivel pulley at the other end where the cord goes back through once. These are the items that I'm going to be using. I've got six wooden slats. I'm using 1.5 meter lengths. I've got two cast iron rack end retainers. I'm using sash cord as this looks really nice and it's very strong. I've got 12 black screws. I'm using 3.5 by 32 mil screws. I've got two 8mm screw locking carabiner clips. Two pulleys. I'm using a 50mm double stainless steel swivel pulley on one end and then a 50mm single swivel stainless steel pulley at the other end. I've got two 8mm by 100mm stainless steel hook eye screws and I'm also going to use a metal cleat tie back for the rope to attach to. These are the tools I'm going to be using. I've got an electric screwdriver, a 6mm drill bit, a tape measure, a pencil and I'm going to use a socket set spanner just to tighten up the hook eye screws. These are the slats that make up the main section of the clothes area. There's six of them in total. Okay, let's see how it all fits together. Once I've fitted the hook eye screws, that will determine how far along this metal retainer needs to go. I might put some screws in here, just so that there's not going to be any movement, so that it won't fall off at all. Now let's see just how it fits together. I bought the wooden slats and the metal rack retainers from the same company, and I bought all the other parts separately on eBay. I just made sure that they're all compatible, they're all 8mm. I'm measuring the centre of my roof light so I know where to screw in the hook eye screws. I'm using a 6mm screwdriver bit on my drill. I'm drilling into the wooden rafter for a strong mounting for the hook eye screws to be screwed into. I'm drilling about 3 inches into the wooden rafter. Then screw in the hook eye screws by hand as far as it will go. The hook eye screws can be attached into the ceiling or into a recess. The swivel pulleys are good because they can be mounted in all sorts of ways. I'm using a socket ratchet handle for additional leverage. Make sure the hook eye screw is level throughout. Now I'm going to attach the carabiner. This is a locking one so the other parts are not going to come off at all. Next I'm going to fit the double swivel pulley. Attach the carabiner to the pulley. I'm fixing the double swivel pulley to this end as this is the end that will have two sections of rope going through. Tighten up the carabiner. Great, that's solid. And it looks very industrial. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side. I've marked and drilled a hole already. Now to screw in the hook eye screw. Again tighten this up so it's nice and solid and make sure it's level throughout the process. And now to attach the single swivel pulley and the carabiner. Make sure this is all tightened up. Great, done. I'm going to measure the distance between the two pulleys so this is at the same width as the metal retainers on the clothes area. Then measure the metal retainers and mark their position. I'm just going to screw these screws in so that it stops the metal retainer going that way and falling off the end. Okay, now for 
the cord. I'm feeding the cord through the pulleys. I hope it's long enough. This end has a double pulley where the rope comes back on itself to attach to the clothes area. Okay, just need to work out exactly how long we need the cord. And I need to work out exactly where I can attach it. It might have to be over here. I've screwed the metal cleat tie back into the wall for the sash cord to attach to. There was no other location for this. I've marked where I think I should cut it. About there. Now to attach the cord to the clothes area. I'm gonna use a knot I used to use when I went fishing. I also used this knot when I went rock climbing. Attach the cord to the metal retainer and then go round and round and round the tree and then down the hole. Then pull it really tightly and then it just gets tighter as you pull it. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Right, that's done. That looks really tight and looks pretty good. Okay, now to test it out. It's a bit squeaky. I think I need some oil on it. Hmm, it works really well though. I'm also going to tie a knot here to keep it level because otherwise it tends to do that. Okay, I want it to stop just a little bit lower. Probably stop about another 25 centimetres. Maybe let's go 30 centimetres lower. So I'm going to move that knot 30 centimetres. So that knot here serves two purposes. Stops, the, stops it going like that, but it also stops it so I can load the washing up. That's good, that's about the right height and it's all level. Right, let's test it a few more times. Let's see if the metal hook tie back works okay. Great, that's strong enough. Well, I think that looks quite good. But it's also going to be very practical for hanging up my washing in this hot location in the kitchen. Well, that's another job done. That's how you install an overhead clothes area. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, please subscribe. <laughs>